Welcome to the 2023 Ford Everest. For this video, we're testing both ends of the lineup spectrum, with this Platinum V6 at the top and the entry level Ambiente four cylinder at the bottom. In either form, the new model has the potential to make a huge dent in the seven seat SUV segment. Firstly, because of its design. It looks tough, but also modern and fashionable, especially if you go for the sport variant, which adds trending black contrasting highlights. The Platinum goes for more of a sophisticated look, with chrome detailing around the windows and for the front grille, while at the back is a bespoke trim piece that connects the tail lights, with Platinum lettering hiding within. There's also intricate LED headlights and tail lights as standard on the Platinum. Both powertrains incorporate some level of part-time four-wheel drive, although the V6 adds special modes for extra capability and versatility. In either case, a live axle rear suspension setup is complemented with coil springs on the Everest, compared with leaf springs on the Ranger Ute that shares the same T6 based platform. Ford offers 21 inch alloy wheels on the Platinum, but you can option for a set of 18 inch wheels wrapped in all terrain tyres, as featured on both vehicles we're testing here. We're very impressed by the packaging and practicality of the new Everest, even in base model form. The base model might not look as elegant, doing without the frills and trimmings visually, but it is just as nice to drive and comes with a heap of technology and safety gear. Check out this interior. Ford has done an excellent job of creating an adventurous yet practical layout in here. You've got lots of storage around the place, ergonomic locations for the main controls and superb visibility and seating comfort. The driving position is very natural and almost like a sedan yet you still feel high up off the ground for that commanding and confidence boosting stance. Rear passengers are well catered for too, with climate vents, fan speed control and even seat heating on the Platinum. There's also twin charging ports with both USB and USB-C. Passengers are unlikely to suffer from a lack of legroom or headroom. The third row is a bit tighter, as you might expect, but it's totally fine for kids or on shorter trips for adults. The middle row slides back and forth so you can prioritise room if you need to. The third row is electronically controlled in the Platinum, making it easy to switch between layouts. With the third row folded down, boot space is impressive at 898 litres. With the second row folded as well, you have just over 1800 litres. It's big. This is a proper ladder frame 4x4 though, with lots of ground clearance. So be prepared for some reaching and stretching if you're short, as items can creep to the front of the boot. For smaller items, you can use the handy tub under the floor. We think it is so good afford to offer a V6 diesel for the new model. It's very smooth and quiet, and it offers loads of torque. The performance benefits of the V6 are marginal though, according to our tests. But for us, the engine does feel effortless and more relaxing compared with the four cylinder. The V6 is also likely to be better for towing. In saying that, Ford has made some tweaks to the 2 litre unit, so it is more refined, quieter and smoother than before. We think it makes more sense in the lower grade models, as these are a bit lighter in weight. For example, there is about 125 kilograms between these two vehicles tested here. And keep in mind, the 2 litre is noticeably more fuel efficient compared with the V6. This is what they go like. 